tart recipe. And we are gonna level up a Hong Kong style egg tart recipe. So let's get started. I just got back from biking now. Now let's get started on this um, egg tart recipe. Let's get started with our um, shell recipe. And then once it's done cooling down, we're gonna add some matcha pastry cream and some fresh fruit on top. So let's go start this uh, recipe. All right guys, now let's get started with this egg tart recipe. So first off, put eight tablespoons of room temperature butter unsalted, then measure out one third cups of powdered sugar and make sure you level off with the palette knife like so. After that, just pour it right into the mixing bowl. And you want to grab a hand mixer or put this in your KitchenAid. And we are going to mix this until it becomes nice and fluffy or creamy. So first off, it will resemble a lot of like pebbles or like um, a lot of pieces. But then it will just combine all together. All right, after your mixture becomes like this, we are gonna be separating an egg. So you wanna make sure this egg is at room temperature. So just go ahead and just separate the egg whites and egg yolks um, away from each other and we are gonna need the egg yolk. All right, now just add your egg yolk right into the butter sugar mixture and just go ahead and mix it in like so. After that, we are going to be measuring out our flour. So we are going to need one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. So just take a heaping scoop of flour, just level off like that with a palette knife, and also do it with a quarter cup as well, just like so. All right, you're also going to want to add in a couple pinches of salt and just go ahead and give it a couple pulses with your mixture just to help get that um, flour and butter mixed together. And now you're also going to want to press it together like so. And if for some reason, if you can't press it together, just add in a couple tablespoons of milk. After it's getting combined like so, you're just going to want to give it a couple of kneads on the table to help make sure everything is mixed together properly. And you just want to saran wrap it and chill it for 30 minutes to an hour. After your um, dough ball has been done chilling, now it's time to roll out our dough and make the crust. So you're just going to want to put it between two parchment papers or wax paper and you're just going to want to hit it with a rolling pin and flatten it out. We're looking to get this thing down to an eighth of an inch, which is um, pretty small. So just be sure to um, also seal the crevices if any form because these will just keep splitting if you don't fix it. Just go ahead and follow what I do. Um, and you can also leave this at room temperature for 10 minutes, but I didn't do it. I just got right into it. So that's probably why it was pretty hard. So yeah, just keep sealing the crevices and repeating the same process. All right, after you're done rolling out your dough, now it's time to line our tart pans. So I got my tart pan right here and I made the first mistake of um, just following the, um, the perimeter of the tart pan because you really want to give it an inch to two around it. So I had to re-roll this out a little bit because it was um, a little too thick. So it should be around this thin, but before it was just way too um, thick so right here I just cut around the perimeter and I'm just trying to line it up right now but as you can tell 
it doesn't really fit the whole pan on top as well. So also you can reuse the dough, so just smush it together, roll it out like so, and cut an inch around the perimeter of the tar pan. And as you can see, it fits the top perfectly. So just repeat the same process for every single tar pan you have. Alright, after you're done making each tart shell, you're just going to want to saran wrap each individual one and just pop it in the fridge for up to a half an hour to an hour or overnight if you're going to make it the next day. And we are going to make the filling for our egg tarts now. Alright, so first off we're going to be making our sugar water, so measure out 2 thirds cups of hot water and we're going to measure out a third of a cup of granulated sugar. And right here I have my vanilla sugar that I'm going to be using, but you can use regular granulated sugar if you don't have any. So just level off like so and pour it in the hot water and be sure to mix it until every single granule is dissolved. Alright, after you're done mixing your sugar, we're going to crack two eggs into a large bowl, just like so. And we are also going to mix this with some milk. So we're going to measure out a third of a cup of milk, which is also around 100 milliliters. So just go ahead and pour it into your measuring cup. And you also want to be eye level view with it, or else it won't be accurate. So here we got our eggs. Just pour in the milk and give it a mix for around 30 seconds. After it's done mixing, we're going to strain it into another bowl and combine it with our sugar water. So as you can see, it's preventing all this foam and we don't want that in our egg tart. So here we got our sugar water cooled down so we don't curdle up our um, eggs. And here's our shell, just um, unsaran wrap it, put it onto a baking sheet tray and just pour in your egg mixture but don't overfill each one or else it won't look pretty. So just give it around a quarter inch of room on top and just be sure to um, pour it in very slowly and move it in your oven very slowly. So we are going to bake it for 350 for around 13 minutes. Just pop it right in slow and steady. And once it's done, we are going to give it a rotation and we are going to bake it at 320 degrees for around 20 minutes and you also want to be sure to leave a notch on top open and, be, and Make sure the door is not closed all the way So I stuck a spoon right here and you want to make sure there's an inch to two inch um, of room open and after the 20 minute timer some may be done and some aren't like this one isn't jiggling anymore So this one's of course done, but the other is jiggling way too much so we are going to pop it right back in for our 6 minutes and be sure to leave the notch on top as well and just keep repeating this process until all of it is done. So as you can tell this one has a little bit jiggle in the middle but that's okay but these two now you just want to put them on your countertop or somewhere to just let it cool. And now we are going to start our pastry cream. So on a plate you just want to saran wrap it and this is going to be later on after we're done making our pastry cream. So first off, we are going to separate two eggs, and we are going to need the egg yolks for this um, pastry cream. So with the egg whites, you can use it to make macarons or something else with it. Alright, after you're done separating your eggs, we are going to measure out one cup of whole milk and we are going to heat this up. So just go ahead in a small pot, just pour in your milk and put it on medium heat and we are going to add in one tablespoon of granulated sugar. So just add it right in and just give it a stir and you want this until it boils 
All right, now in a medium-sized mixing bowl, you want to add your two egg yolks and a quarter cup of granulated sugar plus two tablespoons of granulated sugar. So just go ahead and add in like so. And you also want to measure out two tablespoons of cornstarch and add it right in. Just go ahead and level off like so. And just go ahead and give it a quick 30 second whisk. Just keep whisking it until it becomes the consistency like mine. Now our milk and sugar mixture is boiling up. And we're going to temper it right into our egg yolk mixture. So just go ahead and add in a quarter cup at a time. Just around three times and then you can just pour it right in all together and we are basically going to thicken it up after we're done tempering this um, mixture. Just go ahead and add it slowly. Alright, after it's done being mixed like that, just go ahead and add it right back into your bowl. Put it on medium high heat and consistently mix it until it becomes thickened. So as you can see, it's really foamy and you're just going to want to really keep on mixing it. As you can see, the foam has disappeared and it's becoming like this consistency. Now you're going to want to add in a tablespoon of cold butter. Just mix it right in. And after this, we're going to mix in one teaspoon of sifted matcha powder. So I'm using this culinary quality matcha powder. We're just going to go ahead and do a heaping scoop and just sift it right in. Just sift it right in, make sure you get all those lumps and just incorporate it until it is well combined. After it's combined, we are going to chill it and let it cool. So on the plate, just go ahead and smear the um, pastry cream on top of it like that. And just put saran wrap over it and just stick it in the freezer for around 15 minutes. And we're going to prepare the piping bag. So just go ahead and get yourself a piping bag. And um, I'm using this tip right here. You can use any tip you want. Um, just put it right into your pastry bag and just load it right up with the pastry cream. So this pastry cream is good for making um, four tarts, but I only make two. And right here, I'm just washing up some blueberries and strawberries. Wash as much as you would like. And I'm just cutting the strawberries like this, just into some thin slices. You can do whatever you want, but um, this is how I'm doing it. After I'm done cutting my strawberries, I'm going to assemble it with our pastry cream. Right here, we're just going to um, scoop it off of the plate and just put it right into the piping bag. Just add it right in like so. You can also make any other flavors you would like, but I just like matcha. Go ahead and make it nice and tight and this is how i'm decorating my um egg tart so you can go ahead and do it however you would like but this is how i'm doing it All right, now our fruit tart is done. So now let's go taste test. All right, guys, here we go. Our Hong Kong style egg tart with um, matcha pastry cream and blueberries and strawberries to complement the green tea. So let's give a try with our crust first. Okay, crust tastes very nice, but um, usually with Hong Kong, style um, egg tarts, it would have a more flakier crust, but we have to use one of the ones that um, we are learning. All right, look how nice our egg custard filling is. It is nice and jiggly. 
Okay. The cream definitely tastes like it's on um, cream made for tarts. It definitely tastes um, like the one from Wegmans. Okay. Let's give this more of a try. Mmm. It's like a marriage. You got the sweetness from the cream and crust, and then the blueberries, the tartness comes out from that, and it just balances out everything very nice. And then the egg filling, very amazing. All right, let's take one more bite, and then I'm gonna save the rest for tomorrow because I'm not trying to get diabetes. Let's get some of that matcha. The matcha definitely does complement the egg tart. Well, that's it, guys. Please be sure to subscribe and drop a like.